Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. And the time has come for the final guitar of the day of the week. Yes. <laughs> oh man, these weeks are getting long. Shit, it's almost 5.30. We'll do it in one take. We always do. We should just do it live, Jen. I know. Just leave it all in there. We'll do it one of these days. Let's see what's going on. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. I want to wish my mom, Diane Agnesi, happy Mother's Day. Uh, to my mother-in-law, Aurora, happy Mother's Day to you as well. And of course, to my beautiful wife, Jackie. You're the best. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. She's a great mom. My mother. And, oh, and Jen's mom, too. We love you. Jen's mom drops off Filipino chicken dishes and, and all sorts of yummy things mm -hmm. when she's in town. Jen's extended family comes into the store. <laughs> it's like a small village of people. There's a lot of them. We like the Anka hands around here. Oh, let's see. It's freaking Stratter Day. I don't have a Strat. I could. <laughs> I could have a Strat. Norm really didn't get anything rad in Dallas in the way of Strats. Uh, we might go through a little strat, uh, stretch route here. Telly's out. Tuesday, don't worry, I'll have a telly. I could do another one of these late 70s strats like we've been doing, but I mean, like, I mean, that gets old. I've got something so much better to show you today. Something I'm very, very excited about. Uh, this is only the second one of these I've, I've actually ever held uh, in my tenure here. Uh, what do we do when we normally don't have a strat? We do juniors. This is so much cooler than a junior, I think. Why don't you guys come on back, see what we got today. This thing is from 1959. This is an original Epiphone slab body coronet. Factory black finish, single New York humbucker, Epiphone plaque on the headstock, and the freaking original hang tags. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Let's talk coronets. We, we did the other Epiphone uh, yesterday for Flat Top Friday. So we kind of were covering the whole Epiphone getting taken over by Gibson. There's some cool mythology with these two. Um, so Epiphone kind of folds up around 1957. Gibson uh, buys them, absorbs them in, kind of through 58, so they start doing some prototype things. Um, this was one of the guitars uh, that originally came out. Now this was not called the Coronet at the time. This was called the Modern Black. Now Gibson had a couple other guitars that were coming out in 1958, some futuristic guitars, so they uh, they yanked the, uh, the model name Modern and used it for one of their futuristic models. We did a whole thing on the Modern. Go back through the old episodes, you'll find it. Um, and then this just got renamed the Coronet, which was actually a name that Epiphone used back in the 30s for like one of their arch top guitars. Um, one of the things you'll notice is the thickness of the body, which like I said, we called it a slab body. Uh, the second thing you'll notice is that pickup there. And the third thing you should notice, how rad are these, like, Art Deco knobs? So sweet, man. This, this, this guitar just looks incredible. Um, so first off, when they started designing this, basically, they literally took a Telecaster. This is the exact same thickness and depth of a Telecaster, and they just mirrored the cutaway to the other side. So it is totally symmetrical. It's basically just a Telecaster with a double cutaway. Now it has one of Epiphone's New York pickups. They were using this uh, pre-Gibson. You'll see these on a lot of the arch top guitars and stuff. This is not a mini humbucker. This is a single coil pickup. Um, the way they did that, instead of the pole pieces pointing up and out, the pole pieces actually sit across the pickup like this. So the string runs along the whole uh, entirety of the pole piece. Um, but that is still a single coil pickup. Then it's got the uh, Epiphone factory wiggle stick on it. The two things, the knobs just kill me, and then the, the plaque. I love the plaque headstock, short, squatty plaque headstock Epiphones. After this year, this is the only year, 59 is the only year you will see this. In 60, they kind of ran out of what was left of these New York pickups. They started putting the dog ear P90, like you see on the juniors and the later cornets. They also get rid of the thick body. They start to go to the rounded beveled edge, and the pit guard gets a little bit bigger kind of more the, I think they changed every single year for the first five years of production. Uh, then they dropped the plaque and then they you know, started doing some other things. They started to elongate the bass horn a little bit later. But this is the only year that you can get it. And it's really the only time you'll see them in black. It's just such a cool guitar, great neck, conditions fantastic, original hang tags. Screw strats, man. You can do a strats any day. Doing a little slab boardy, uh, slab board Epiphone coronet today. I can't wait to go plug this in. All right, we're out front. We have the 1959 Epiphone slab body coronet 
factory black with the factory wiggle stick and the plaque headstock. We're going through uh, just a stock Blues Junior 3 today. All the EQs at noon. A little bit of reverb. It's one pickup. We're just going to kind of start uh, with the amp kind of low, turn it up kind of loud, see how it goes through the different gain stages. This is uh, pretty low right here. Volume on the amp's on about four right now. take it from about four up to about seven on the amp. Let's get a little more dirty, see how this thing rocks here a little bit. up a little bit more let's get it rocking see what this thing does full blast here Man, I love me a Les Paul Jr., but this thing might be uh, just that much cooler, especially in black. Who, who doesn't love an original factory black guitar? It's from 1959. It's the original slab board Epiphone Coronet. First year of production and the only year that you will see the slab body uh, as well as the New York uh, single coil pickup. It's all about that plaque, guys. Love me that plaque. And those knobs. Check out those knobs one last time. Just so Art Deco and rad. With the original case. That'll wrap it up for the week of Guitar of the Days. You guys have a fantastic Mother's Day tomorrow. Take care of your mamas out there. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. 
and check this and the rest of these things out online while they last at normansrareguitars.com. That'll do it for the week. We'll see you guys back here on Tuesday for a brand new week of Guitar of the Day. I promise you all have a telly. Have a good weekend. We'll see you then. Peace.